Hey everybody, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com and today I'm going to share with you some quick tips on how to take full advantage of the SketchUp inference system. So basically to break it down, the first part of the inference system are your point inferences. So that would be your endpoint inference. You can see the uh, green circle that just popped up. So any point uh, at the end of any edge is going to give you that inference. Then you're also going to have an on edge inference, which is shown with a red square. And then you'll also have a blue circle, which will indicate any midpoint. So any, any midpoint on any edge will uh, allow you to snap to it. Then you also have an on face indicator, which is represented by a blue uh, diamond. So that is great for if you ever wanted to draw on the face of an object and wanted to make sure that you're actually drawing on the face and not somewhere else. There's also the intersection inference as well and that's whenever you have two uh, faces or lines that are intersected but that aren't joined by a connected or common edge so you'll get that little red cross showing that you're on an intersection. Now the other thing to be aware of is if the object is a group, all of the points, you can still snap to all of the points, but they'll be a magenta color. So they'll have the same shape that you're used to. They'll just all be that magenta color. So that lets you know that you're snapping to something that's inside of a group. Now the next type of inferencing, and this is where it's really powerful in SketchUp, is linear inferencing. So what you do is you first uh, find a point inference and you have to make sure that little text box pops up and then once that happens then you can drag out along any axis and it'll lock to that axis so it'll allow you to start your line from any any point now one cool thing is once you've started your line uh, or rectangle or any shape if you tap on one of the arrow keys it'll lock you into that axis. So if I just tapped on the right arrow key, that locks me into the red axis. But I could type the left arrow key or the up arrow key and that'll lock me to the blue or green axis as well. So once you're locked into an axis, the thing that's really cool is you can reference any other point in your model um, to, to define the length of that, that line. So that's really powerful. That's really, really powerful. Now another thing you can do is uh, reference your point inference and start to drag out and then just hold the shift key and that'll lock you on an axis as well. Now another trick I want to show you was the ability to reference multiple points. So you hover over the first one until you get the pop up and then you hover over the second one and then you drag across until the two intersect and that'll allow you to reference uh, a point uh, of the, where those two intersect and then you can drag and, and inference any other point to finish. Now the other type of inference is the shape inference. So you can see with the rectangle tool uh, if, you, if you drag it out into the shape of a square it'll actually snap so you get a perfect square. You can also do a golden section and then with the arc tool you can snap um, perpendicular and tangent as well. The other shape inference with the arc tool is the half circle. So that's basically it. I just wanted to do this quick video to show you the basics of the SketchUp inference system and how powerful it is to use multiple inferences while you're modeling. And you can use this for moving, for drawing, modifying, basically everything works off of this inference system. So start using some of these advanced features and you'll be saving a ton of time instead of throwing guides out there everywhere. And if you want to check out my website for more tutorials, you can go to mastersketchup.com.